Assalamu alaikum, this is your teacher Sarkamad Afansari. Today we study linear search and linear search is also known as sequential search. Alright, so linear search is also known as sequential search and what is it basically a searching algorithm. So it is a, one of the greatest searching algorithms and one of the easiest searching algorithm in, in the uh, searching criteria and if we talk about the Cambridge Old Levels Computer Science syllabus, so it is one of the easiest searching algorithm that they have given us and it, we have got only one only one searching algorithm in the syllabus and this is the linear or the sequential search uh, searching algorithm so what does this algorithm do as the name indicates search so basically what does it do it search a particular element in the list that you provide or that you store earlier or uh, whatever you do so basically if we talk about the integer that if we want to search a particular integer in specific index position then we must input the integer that we need to search and then we do the entire programming or we need the pseudocode same with the string if we input any string then uh, our search alg searching algorithm will, will start searching that uh, element in the index position uh, sequentially linearly so this is how it works so if you go with the description it is simple that it is basically a sequential search algorithm and uh, the basic purpose of this algorithm is to find the specific uh, element in a uh, list of uh, index right so let's suppose in this case i want to uh, search a name of a book and i have got three books one book name is uh, let me type it here one book is the island right all right one book is island and the other my book is warrior and the last my book is the beast so for uh, for an instance i use these three uh, uh, names as my book and i want to search any one of these name in my pseudocode so basically first of all we must find the criteria that how does it do it how does linear search work let's suppose if i take this uh, i have got the uh, three books names right I've got three books name and I pick up any random name from my list the warrior so when I I say that if my system ask it says enter book name and when I press uh, and when I enter my book name any three of them so what does it do uh, my searching algorithm will start searching the name of the uh, book in the index so let's suppose the island is at index 0 then it does not find okay now it will switch to the next index position okay index found 1 and the book name warrior found so it will stop searching but if in case it does not find uh, let's suppose I swap the values um, if it does not find uh, the book name in the index position then it will go to the next index position so here it goes to the next position and it found it uh, uh, successfully so the search is over now so what is the concept that if it continue, if it does not find your element in the index it will keep searching until it finds your desired uh, element so this is how your uh, linear search or sequential works i hope you understood it Let's suppose if I swap the values and I write here feast and I input the name of the book the island. So it starts searching at the index position 0. Okay. It does not found it. Next it goes to the index position 1. Huh? It does not find it even here. And then it will go to the next index position. Yes, here it is. So this is the behind the scenes that what is happening in, in, in the linear search. I hope you got the concept. Now let's start making the pseudocode of it. Alright, I made the visual basic dot net program and I converted it into the pseudocode. So let's start the pseudocode writing. Okay, um, so first understand i think it's my opinion first understand the body of the code so i'm zooming out i'm not showing you declaration and initialization 
first i explain the body of the code so what is the body of code what i need that i want to input uh, i want to uh, show the input prompt like first of all our system will ask the user that enter the name of the book so we enter the name of the book all right so i use the input statement and with the prompt enter name and whatever the book name i input it will store in this variable which i see the name of the variable is name underscore for underscore search this is a variable which uh, will store the name of my book then i use the repeat loop you may use uh, while loop even right so i use the repeat loop and what it will do it will use the if statement right and search this variable name underscore for underscore search so name underscore for underscore search what did we input for example feast i input feast so whatever i input it will be stored in the name for search and then i already made a list of the books and i initialize the name book underscore name so book underscore name is the list i show you this is the book underscore name variable this is the book underscore name variable in this variable i have got these three books so i have already made the list of these books right so i use the i stored the name of these books and i use the variable counter what the counter will do it will uh, it will assign the position of the elements with the help of a loop now next i use the variable found and i use it as a boolean data type so what does it do found when my search gets true then my variable becomes true which is the found why i will explain you uh, later on so when our uh, linear search get success in searching then we take the variable and we will make it true then our conditional statement will be closed it is true now then after the conditional statement we will increment in the counter by default counter value is 0 by default value is 0 so 0 plus 1 becomes 1 so this is the first iteration that it did now what happens next when this search will continue until we get the found true or counter gets greater than equals to quantity of books what is the quantity of books i will see so if our to uh, our search gets true so we our loop will stop it right there and if it does not gets true our loop will check this condition counter greater than equals to quantity of books this is the main idea of the sudo code now i show you uh, my variable declaration and initialization all right i use the variable name for search this variable is used when i input my book name then i declare my book name in an array and i just leave it blank here because i am initializing my array with the with these three books right it could be five books 100 books 200 books thousand books so i may just make a list then i used uh, my uh, variable found i may use it boolean or integer integer i will take found equals to 0 or 1 and if i take it as a boolean so i may use it as a boolean variable uh, boolean data type so it's up to you if you want to take it integer it will be considered as the 0 or 1 and if you take it as a boolean then you will consider it to and false now counter is for the uh, loop right so it will place or allocate the indices next quantity of books so uh, quantity of books if you see that here it's 0 uh, 1 and 2 uh, right you may start your array with a zero position or 1 1 2 and 3 so we have got let's suppose three books or if we start with a zero then 0 1 2 so you have got two books so i now initialize my variables on with a false which is as boolean 
counter zero quantity of books if you start with the one then we have got three if you start with the zero then we have got two over here okay now this is the scenario that i already explained you that if our search gets false then it will jump to the counter that it does not find it true okay fine then what i do i will start working on the counter so if counter is greater than equals to quantity which is 2 or 3 so it is not 2 or neither it is 3 so it will perform the next iteration it will because our search if it gets false so it will continue the loop and then it will repeat searching if it again does not find our book then iteration will be increased by 1 which is now 1 so 1 plus this one becomes 2 right so it will see that on does not get true then it will see that it will iterate till the uh, quantity of books which are 3 so or 2 so here counter becomes 1 plus 1 2 then it will start it will continue uh, the iteration and if it gets true all right third time because we have got three books so here it will just execute three times so here it will become 2 plus 1 which is 3 so our loop will be executed till quantity of books which are 3 or if you want to initialize it 2 then it will be 0 plus uh, then it will be uh, 2 if you start with a 0 then what would happen next step is for the output if our books get uh, if our book gets found true then we will display the name of the book and we, we will display the prompt book found and if I uh, if our book gets false then we will just write here print statement and the uh, name for the search our book name will be displayed here and then we will prompt book not found in the sudo code we do not use concatenation sign this end sign is known as a concatenation sign this basically works to join the words and in sudo code we use comma our second if statement gets closed here and if and then we will end up over all right this is just the sudo code and i told you that it is an exoskeleton let's test the program in that i have already made it so let's see this is the same sudo code only difference you will see that we have converted it into high level language and our high level language is a vb.net so this is just converted into the context of high level language so these are the three uh, uh, books the island warrior and the feast you may check out the spelling you must be careful while typing the name of the book so we have to test all three names let's start testing the island so i'm all right i'm increasing font size all right now name enter the name let's suppose the island when I enter it search and it says the island book found. All right, it's working right. This is a test one and successful. Now let's perform the test two for the warrior. All right, I am typing the name of a warrior. All right, warrior book found. Test two successfully completed. Test three is for the feast. All right, feast book found. Test three successful. Now test four for nonsense word means the book which is not in the list i type let's suppose anything so it says book not found because it is not in our array so it says book not found so this is how our linear search works it is pretty simple searching algorithm and i hope you understood it well and uh, if you need any guidance or any support then i'm always there for you you will contact me on whatsapp or on the facebook and uh, in the next video we will start working for the swapping part of the bubble sort swap but i will try to start with the small swap and uh, thank you so much allah is